Hi, this is Bobby from Brew Hardware, and we get a lot of questions about thermometers and which thermometers are better for particular applications. There's a lot of different personal preference out there, but we wanted to give you a quick rundown of the things that we offer and recommend for your brewery. Certainly one of the most classic ways of installing a thermometer into your brew vessel is to use the old um, mechanical bimetal dial thermometers. And these are all stainless steel and glass on the front here and they're relatively durable and they look really good when they're installed on your nice shiny stainless vessels but in reality they do have their shortcomings like anything else uh, these dial thermometers are relatively slow if you're making a lot of fast changes in temperature they're gonna lag behind uh, a little bit so as you're gaining temperature in your hot liquor tank for example these are going to be a couple degrees behind at any given time and also the accuracy is about two percent of the overall range so these can be like plus or minus two degrees uh, in accuracy but again they they are very durable and they look good becoming more popular is to use digital thermometers uh, no matter where it is in your brewery we offer two different styles uh, at Brew Hardware. Uh, we use the DTTC. This is by a company, CDN, which uh, we highly recommend their products. Uh, this one is a what they would consider to be a kitchen thermometer. It's got a, a clock built in, a timer, and uh, a relatively sophisticated temperature feature. Uh, things like temperature alarms can be set so uh, you can walk away and be alerted when you reach a certain temperature. They use this remote probe which is nice and long, uh, stainless, and uh, it's got a braided stainless uh, sheath around the wire and this just plugs into the base here to communicate the temperature. These probes are replaceable in case you destroy them so you don't have to replace the entire thermometer. Right now we're selling this one for $20 and it's a definitely a good value. The other alternative, if you want to be a little more portable, is to use this uh, handheld portable, which is the DTQ450, also by CDN. And we've tested this against the Thermapen, which everybody highly touts as one of the best thermometers on the market. Uh, the difference is, is that this comes in well under a quarter of the price as the Thermapen, and it is just about as accurate and quick. We've tested it, uh, several of these against uh, Thermapen, and we highly recommend this for uh, the best handheld digital under $20. Okay, but the problem with these, uh, you know, if you're just going to be using these as a spot checking, reaching down into the kettle and taking the temperature, um, that's fine. But the problem is that if you want to install these into your vessels like you would these thread in styles, you have to employ some additional fittings. And we have a variety of things to offer for that purpose. We call this the narrow probe compression fitting. Uh, it is just a compression fitting, uh, an off-the-shelf uh, compression fitting in a particular size that works well with these types of probes. And we also add our own designed uh, weldless fitting here to attach this to the vessel without doing any welding or soldering. This particular one here is female quarter-inch MPT on this side. So we use the same weldless bushing assembly as we would use in our weldless sight glass kits. Um, you just thread this together so that the uh, the gasket is on the outside of the vessel uh, between the fitting and the, the wall of your keg or your pot and then this metal assembly goes on the inside. Uh, the hole you would drill for this is only a 9 16 hole so it's relatively compact compared to most of the weldless bulkheads on the market. Uh, this is guaranteed not to leak. This design is pretty much flawless. So the way that this works is, I'll show you the interior components. This uses two silicone O-rings. So you would take your, your digital probe, you put the compression nut on there, and then you slide your two silicone O-rings over the probe and then you just insert it into here and those silicone o-rings act, act as the ferrules 
and it creates a nice firm mechanical seal as well as a leak seal here and you only need it to be hand tight to be uh, leak free you could loosen this up and adjust how deep it sticks into the vessel so if you've got an immersion chiller in your kettle for example and you just want to put that in without damaging the probe you can slide this out and it'll still function just fine uh, you can also uh, once the IC is in place you can push this in between two of the coils if you want to to get an inside of the, the brew kettle reading either way this will not leak all right another option which is popular is if if you want to install this into um, one of the compact sight glass combo kits we have a version that's a male a quarter inch MPT so if you get the T version of the sight glass kit you can see that that would install in there so this is the female version this is the male version and we also have a, uh, a half inch male MPT version of this compression fitting as well Now the last thing I will say about this is that if uh, if you're going to install something like this into your boil kettle or hot liquor tank where you've got a relatively aggressive flame under it, uh, you might damage this thermometer. So one thing you can do to combat that is to get the small heat shield that we offer and then you just clip that on like that and you can see that once this is all the way inserted that the heat coming up from the bottom will go around the shield and avoid the thermometer so um, this is as, as good as we can get it as far as getting digital probes into your brewing vessels these will go up to uh, 3 16 in diameter probes if you want to go all the way up to a full quarter inch probe you're gonna have to drill that fitting out to a quarter inch with a drill bit but otherwise, the seals and everything that we put inside will work with up to a quarter inch probe. Now the last thing that I wanted to show you was that this is the way that you can do the same function in a, in a cooler. Everything I've described so far has been for a metal thin wall vessel. But if you have a, a cooler that's got a thick wall to it, this is the solution for that. It's uh, it's the quarter inch with male MPT uh, narrow probe compression fitting, and we go into a quarter inch MPT full coupling, and then there's the weldless bulkhead there. Now the the seal right here will be made on the inside wall of the cooler, and this coupling here is basically an extension to get you through all the insulation and depending on how thick your cooler wall is um, right about here is where this will stick out so you, you definitely want this to be able to stick out enough so that you can uh, loosen the compression not to remove the thermometer but everything else here would you know obviously stay installed it works all right I hope this has been helpful if you have any questions let me know mm -hmm.